Hello and welcome to Las Vegas, Nevada. We're here for the 52nd Annual World Series of Poker, and it's a big one. Event number 40, the $10,000 Horse Championship inside the Rio All Suite Hotel and Casino. I am David Tuckman, joined by the legend that is Norman Chad, who actually played in this event. We are down to our final five players. Eddie, the wrestling coach, has made eight final tables, set two final tables this summer. Finished in fourth in the 10K Omaha 8 or better final table. That was the one that featured Phil Helmuth. Ari Engel ended up winning that one. Helmuth was at that final table? It was. Oh, yeah, that's right. Five final that's tables for the poker brat <clears throat> and the leader of the player of the year standings right now. That's remarkable. <laughs> 16-time bracelet winner Phil Helmuth does not have a player of the year on his resume as of yet. Yeah, I think he was runner-up twice, losing one to Greg Merson having yeah, to win the main event title. He's street. So he wants the POI. I was really hoping for it. Oh, maybe got a 10 under there. That's good. good. Okay. That's a good oh, street goodness. for Brandon Shaq Harris. He has a made jack. No, he's not, I'm sorry, he's got a pair of aces. That's yeah, not I was going to ask you. It's not a good street, but it appears to be a good street, right? Oh, you paired the 10? What Gerhard is looking at, Gerhard is looking at an ace jack seven. Uh, race. But he, Brandon's only got 20K Thank behind you. him, so Ooh, Brandon's just going to put them all in. Well, I think I did. And Brandon's going to need did. help. I wasn't sure. yeah, you can see Gerhard, a 61% favorite, a 3 to 2 favorite. Okay. Yeah, uh, seven jack Gerhard eight. probably doesn't call there, except Brandon's got no chips left. A chance now to knock out Brandon Shaq Harris. I, I deserve I mean, to lose. Definitely a fair fight. Well, now that you've said okay. that, I do deserve to lose. I don't think there's any deserving in poker ever. Yeah. No. If Kevin wins his hand, he deserves to win his hand. So Gerhard has a made queen. Okay. Yeah, that was a good shot. And now Shaq Harris is in the lead as Shaq Harris has just made a jack. Jack, better jack 10 9, yeah. Gerhardt is drawing yeah, better draw. to a 10 low. Yeah. Shaq well, Harris hoping he does not have to improve you just to win. Please. You just have me dead. 8. Cut. Mm. 10 9. 8 or better. 8 7. Yeah. So Shaq Harris does need to improve. Two, three, four, five. Ooh. And unfortunately, we see the bad news before he does. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good luck, guys. As our RFID technology picks up the nine of diamonds, and that is Likewise. it for the two-time bracelet winner, runner-up in the 2014 yeah. Player of the Year, Brandon Shaq Harris. No. He is, uh, no without a doubt, the best yeah. hugger here at the World Series of Poker no year after year. No doubt about no that. Okay. And uh, he hugs so many no. people, you, you wish him more bracelets. This is his 13th Sorry, World Series final table. He has eight top three finishes here at the World Series. The short stack here today could find no luck, and he goes out in fifth place. Ace, a very powerful card in almost every poker variant, except for deuce to seven. Except for deuce to seven. And speaking of aces, split aces for Yaki. Norman just said no matter what, even if they're representing it, they don't have it, but Br Bryce okay. does have it okay. this time. I, 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 I was speaking generally, and it's most of the time, and, and this time, well, and you know what? Listen, it up. Gerhardt does not believe Bryce. He knows that Bryce is going to try to represent it. He raises. Now, if you're Bryce, do you just call this, or do you, do you put another bet in there? Either way, uh, I often will just call it here uh, to disguise the strength of my hand. As Phil Helton was to say, I'll trap him even in a, a stud variant with limits, but you can trap. Maybe get the extra bet in on 5th yeah, Street. exactly. I know some people mock him for that, but you can trap in these limit games, kind of. Bryce picks up his third diamond. Gerhardt straightening out a little bit. And again, Bryce right now just a 2-1 to one favorite. I often call stud a race to two pair. Whoever makes two pairs is going to win the hand. So even when you're behind, you can go ahead and, you know, at any time. Yeah, Bryce looking really strong here, a four to one favorite. He picks up his fourth diamond. Are you on his dinner? aces are still good as well. Just regular break? A what? Yeah, it's a disguise you, you diamond draw for him break. because his door card is okay. not a diamond. It's a really powerful hand for Bryce Hutchinson. But you don't see the diamond flush coming if it hits, if you're Kevin Gerhardt. Does he want to continue now? Here, here's the decision on Fifth Street. When you continue on Fifth Street, you usually are going to be going all the way to the river. I do some really bad play. 
where I actually call Fifth Street and often fold on Sixth Street. And people just laugh at me. People walking down the street who have never played stud laugh at me. Hey, I'll play my game, you play yours. Diamonds are cheap. And Gerhardt now needs a nine to make a straight. He can also make two pair. Yeah, Yaki's still with four diamonds. He would have called a six street bet here because that board of Yaki does not scare him. Ooh. Oh, hello. This is an ugly, oh, ugly seventh street as Yaki makes trip aces and Gerhardt makes the straight. That's brutal. No question, Yaki's going to bet trip aces. Can you raise if you're Gerhardt? Or are you worried about diamonds? You have three diamonds yeah, yourself, no, though. I, I think you can raise. Okay, there's no, there's, Yaki has nothing on the board that's a pair. Full house, very unlikely. Diamonds, very unlikely. Straight, extraordinarily unlikely. It's hard to believe his hand is the best. He's got to oh, raise. There's the raise, there's Straight. the call. Fucking kidding me. <sighs> Unreal. Second time. <laughs> Second time you took down three aces. Apparently they have history prior to this uh, final five of Gerhardt slaying trip aces of Bryce Yaki. Yeah, not the first. Yeah, when I saw the final table last night where they were down to nine players or eight at that point. Bryce had heaps. Right, I'll take this one. I yeah. want to say at that point, there was a point where he was the chip leader. He came in today uh, in decent shape. He was kind of middle of this uh, middle of this uh, pack. Complete. Complete. Yeah, but it's but all downhill today. Race. Yeah, he's gotten pretty unlucky. I mean, the nine when he makes trip aces, the yeah. wheel when he had three pair. He is all in here. Three very playable Raz hands. Cool, Bryce with the best of it. Thanks. 120 total. But it means little right now. When you have the best of it in a situation like this, a 6 5 a 4 versus a 7 versus the 8 ace, how close are these equities running? Uh, closer than you think. I mean, it's it's just three. And plus, it, it depends on the other cards that are out that you need to get your low. So he's a sl he's a favorite right here, but he, he's not more than 35 or 40 yeah, percent. I think, I think it said 40 percent. Good call. Uh, Eight. Well, Blumenthal hits an eight, and now Blumenthal takes the lead. Gerhard hits a 10. Yaki's still live. 34% of the time, he will survive this. Main pot is 440. The side pot is 160. Uh, now it gets uglier for Bryce. Yeah, Bryce has made a nine, but Blumenthal has an 87. So thankfully he's drawing to an 86, but Gerhardt also drawing to an 86. And Bryce with the worst chance of surviving this one now the th uh, on these three hands. Bryce oh. pairs oh, and Blumenthal yeah. has just made a seven. What? He cannot sorry, lose. Sorry. I thought he paired. Yeah, yeah Bryce yeah. Jockey with no route to survival here. Nope. Bryce has uh, made a nine. Yeah. He's drawing to an eight and Blumenthal already has a seven. And he knows it. Good game, bro. You deal with the you don't lose those two step pots. You got all the chips, bro. Raise. Michael Trivia got 15th in this event? I think not 15th. Oh, you might be right. He was deep in this event. <clears throat> I, think he, I think he was right after me. Yeah. There's not a lot of fold equity. Blumenthal has uh, put, up, put in 200 of his 230,000. He is going to Call. see all five Call. cards. Johnson just calls. Call. I guess encouraging Gerhardt to come along for the ride as well. He doesn't want to blast him out of the pot. He wants Blumenthal out of this tournament. Check. Not a good start for Eddie Blumenthal. He had the best hand. Johnson with a pair of queens, Gerhardt with a pair of threes. 140. Yeah, 140 side. So the main pot is 690,000, and Blumenthal can hit an ace. He'll be right back in it. Side pot is 140,000. Check. Check. 
Queen of Clubs on the turn, and that okay. is so it. I lose. That's going to be good. Three kings. Oh. Okay, man. Nice playing with you. Right, man. That's yeah, my man. man. I just got so, lucky so, in the so, right so, spot. So, sorry. Sometimes you get it. Nothing yeah. you can do, man. I just, I just sun run. You're playing well, but you know, sometimes you just hit and it's all yeah. good. Yeah. Norman doesn't even last for the race up, typically. <laughs> Five to one chip advantage. They have race up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like another economy out there. How's that? Gerhardt continues to hit. This time it's his pair of sixes. And Johnson's got a little something here. He's got overcards the second pair. He's got the gut shot to, uh, to the eight high straight. Just doesn't have a ton of chips. He's going to make this call. A five, a seven, or an eight will be good. That'll work. Check. Check, check. Oh. <laughs> it is good to be Kevin Gerhardt. Playing well, running well. A lethal combination. Can you raise this if you're a Gerhardt? Oh, certainly. So Johnson, betting for value, trying to get value from an ace high, a four, a six. A four, a six, yes, yeah, certainly. And now he's going to get raised. And once, once Kevin checks back, you can probably take a king out of his hand, right? Because in limit hold'em, it's all about betting and, and getting that value. So he's got to think his seven is good. Unless he hit the queen. And look at Marco's dilemma here. He's, he, look, he's put out the big bets that he has left <clears throat> in front of him. There's not many. Seems like he's trying to find a fold here. Mm. He's been in this position so often today and so often against Kevin Gerhardt. Tough to call, tough to fold. I think what you know could be running through his head is, is would Kevin raise this with just a queen? So if he had you know ace queen, the turn goes check back, and he hits the queen. Four, queen six. Uh, wow. Yeah. <clears throat> it's really helpful when he just lets us know what he's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> he's spot on. Appreciate as, that, Marco. And as Eric was saying, he was wondering whether, whether Kevin could have a queen. Mm -hmm. Nails it right on the head. Queen four, queen six. It makes a lot of sense, right? So if he the question I have is, if he ha does he have bluffs in his range here? Well, that's the thing. So if he's 
he's trying to find the value hands. So queen six is a value hand, queen four is a value hand. Are there any other value hands? Because if, if there aren't... Queen six. He called it. If, if those are the only two value hands, then maybe he has spades or something. Maybe he had a five and is trying to win the pot. But if he's saying queen six, queen four, right. he's not finding any other value hands. So it seems like he, it seems like he doesn't think Kevin would just raise it. Raise. It was a 19 to one. It's now a 19 to one chip deficit for Marco Johnson. And he's going to go with this one, I'm pretty sure. I think you're pretty sure is pretty right. <laughs> he doesn't have a low draw, though. See here, though, so it's if not the quad nines. flop is something it's like three, four, five, whatever. I mean, or getting it in, but I think I'm just going to get it in. Uh, all right. He said he was yeah, considering flatting, four, which four, I, so he could fold on a three, right. four, five board or yeah, something. I, yeah. Why wouldn't he flat there? Hi. Seems to give him more yeah, options. I, low cards. I don't want to fold a flat. Only low cards. I mean, you got to call off real life. But I mean, there's he has good some. cards. We have low cards. I don't want it to come low and like. He has big he'll, cards. Yeah. You can see here. Yeah, well, it looks like a raggy nine back. six four three is actually a favorite against Johnson's ace king jack ten. We have him suit block. Nine six four three spades. Oh, Gerhardt's girlfriend, Queen Alicia, watching. She seems more nervous than him. <laughs> can't, we, can't we just flop it straight? Queen, 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 I'll take. <laughs> 820,000 in there. Oh, 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 we fucking flopped. Let's go. That's, oh. that's it. Nine, that's nine, it. four. It is rare that you're drawing dead in Omaha. In, in on the flop, but oh that is exactly God. what happened here. Let's oh, go. Fantasy day for Kevin Let's Gerhardt. Go. One more great flop, and it ends it. What a day it has been, and there he is, a fitting champion. And, and, and what a tournament. Both of you played this event, and the final table, the champion, certainly befitting of, of, of a tournament of this stature. Kevin is, is, is just blessed. Kevin Gerhardt, his first Raz tournament ever. He wins a bracelet in 2019. The only WSOP tournament he plays last year, he wins an online bracelet. And now here he wins his third bracelet. And he's probably heading off to Shaq's Big Chicken to celebrate. Congratulations once again to Kevin Gerhardt. For Eric Rodewig, for Norman Chad, for everybody here at the World Series of Poker, thank you so much. We'll be back tomorrow, 5 p.m., for more World Series of Poker action.